to my channel so today i'll be showing you guys how to make this simple kaftan dress and for that i'm going to be using two yards of fabric but it depends on you how many how much yards of fabric you're using i'm using uh, three yards and this is an akara fabric it's cut by 47 inches of weight and then um i'm going to be using three yards so to determine how much you're going to need how many yards of fabric you need you might want to multiply your shoulder to maybe your ankle whatever length you're using times two and then add plus your seam allowance to fold the end maybe one or two inches so that's it for me so for me i'm using 54 inches and i added two inches as seam allowance to fold the end so guys what i did is i folded this into two here so this is the three yards of fabric i folded it like three yards plus like four inches is what i'm using here so i folded it into two you see how i folded it here so one is my front panel the second one is my back panel so what i'm going to do now is to fold it again so guys now i've folded my fabric into two again so you see um this will be my end and then this will be the neckline the part with the fold is going to be the neckline and the shoulder so what I'm going to do now is, um, so guys, the first thing I'm going to mark is my shoulder to um, my bust, which is uh, 13. I'm going to mark that here. And then the next thing I'm going to mark is my shoulder to waist, which is 19.5. This here is for um, XXL. And then the next thing I'm going to mark is my shoulder to the hip line which is 28 so i'm going to mark that here so i'm going to extend all these lines so guys i have my shoulder to bust shoulder to waist shoulder to hip so what i'm going to insert now is my shoulder to under bust right and the shoulder to under bust i'm working with is 16 so i'm going to put that in here and also extend that line so guys, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to skip this bust line. I'm going to use the under bust because remember, this is supposed to be free and the fabric is not stretchy. But for those that are working with stretchy fabric, then you can mark your bust, your waist, and then your hip. Connect your bust to your waist and then your waist to the hip and then down because your fabric is stretchy. The line I'm going to be using is just this under bust line. So on this under bust line, I'm going to transfer um, my measurement here. So the measurement I'm working with is uh, 49 divided by 4. So guys, I'm working with 49 on this one. So 49 divided by 4 is going to be 12.25. Uh, so I'm going to just call it 12.5. So that's what I'm going to mark in here. And then the next thing I'm going to do is to come down to my hip. Like I said, this is my bust line, under bust line, and then waist, and then my hip line. So what I'm going to do here is, on this hip line, I'm going to calculate my measurement, which is 53 divided by 4. So 53 divided by 4, that's 13.25. Uh, but I'm just going to make it 13. I'm just going to make it like 14 inches, because the person doesn't really want it fitted at the hip. So I'm going to use 14 inches here. And then I'm going to bring down that 14 inches also at this end here. So this is my, um, the end of the dress. So I'm going to connect my line, this line to this one here straight. And then this one here, I'm going to connect it to the, my under bust line, I'm going to connect it to the hip line. So that's it down here. And then I'm going to connect this one. So guys, this is basically it. If you don't want yours to open at the sleeve, you can always come up when you're sewing it. Because remember, this is just how I'm going to sew it now. I'm going to transfer all my measurements to the other side. And then I'm just going to go to my sewing machine and top stitch it following this line. But one thing you're going to do is when you come down to this part here, you can stop like 10 inches before the end here. Or you can stop maybe 13 inches before the end. It depends on you so that you will have some opening at the end here so that the person can be able to walk so i'm going to use maybe 13 inches for mine so now the next thing is to come up to the neckline 
I'm going to be working with, it depends on how wide you want your neckline, but I'm going to be working with four inches on the side, and then I'm going to come down by uh, like 4.5 down. Well, because if I use this measurement, the person cannot pass their head through it. So I'm going to, if I use this measurement, the person cannot be able to put their head in this. So I'm going to come down by like five inches. I'm going to give it a slit all the way down here, like coming down here, maybe five or six. I'm going to just make it six inches. So it's going to have a slit here. And then for my back neckline, I'm going to cut about 1.5 here. So... Some people even extend their neckline up to five inches, but I'm just using four. You, some people still use three by three, but then you're going to give it some slit to it. So I'm just going to cut this neckline out now. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. But to cut it out, I, I just wanted to show you guys that I've marked my line. So all I have to do is now go to the sewing machine, open this up this way. You see, I've transferred my line. I'm going to open it up this way. And then I'm going to just start stitching. I'll double stitch at this line and then go all the way down to this point. This is like 13 inches from the end. I'm going to also double stitch when I get to this point. And that is it on this side. I'm going to also do the same thing on the other end. Start from my under bust and then get to that point. So, but for me to mark this neckline, to cut out this neckline now what i have to do is i'm going to just it, it, two ways that you can do this is you can just slit it in the middle now and then transfer the transfer what you drew here on this side too or you can separate it this way you can just separate it this way You can separate it this way and then go ahead and cut out your neckline which is also the easier way to do it so i'm going to go ahead and cut this out now so you see this is my back neckline i'm only cutting on the front and then i'm going to slit this part here so this is the neckline i want here something that looks like this here so the person can pass their head through this space here so I'm just going to go ahead and sew the sides now. So guys, the next thing I'm going to do is sometimes people use like there's this a different color of bias, maybe like pink or green or whatever color you can find from this and use it to finish up all the ends, right? But since I don't have that and I don't want to do that, so all I have to do is just take this fabric and fold the end, right? I'm just going to take it from the from one end to the other. I'm just going to fold it on the two sides. After folding it, um, just like how you normally fold the end of your clothes, then I'm going to go ahead and join the sides. So guys, this is it here. I've gone ahead and made my stitch. So I just made a stitch down here and also down here, but I stopped 14 inches and 14 to 13 inches before the end. Folded this here. The same way I folded it, I went all the way up, folded and came back. The same thing I did on this side, folded it here and then all the way down. So that is basically it. So this is done. This is what the neckline looks like. So I just use bias to finish up the neckline. I still have to go back in and trim the thread. And then I use bias to finish up the neck. So this is it here. Iron it and that's it. Because this is double XL, the butterfly is not that big because of the width of the fabric. But if you are smaller, maybe the butterfly will be bigger than this, or except you want your butterfly this small. So that's basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.